Colorado College MAT graduating in 2019. Over the past year, I've had a variety of experiences that taught me a lot about teaching, education, and myself. For the final unit of the MAT, I did a specialized internship placement in Melbourne, Australia at Victoria University. You can't talk about VU without mentioning the block plan. In 2017, VU began implementing the block plan. Previously, the Australian government had enrollment caps due to labor demands. With the enrollment caps removed, large institutions like Melbourne Uni grew, while smaller institutions like VU shrunk. So, they needed to change their model, and they were inspired by David Helfen's TED Talk about the block. I actually got to meet David during my time at VU. What makes VU different from other block institutions like Colorado College or Quest in Canada? Well, VU serves 25,000 students, making it the largest block institution in the world. Initially, I found myself comparing and contrasting CC and VU a lot, so I'll share a few key differences. First off, because of the large size, there are typically multiple offerings of the same course in a given block. Second, CC is very localized. All students at CC live on campus or very close to campus, whereas VU is massive and spread out with locations in the heart of Melbourne, Footscray Park, St. Albans, and even Sydney. Most students I spoke with have taken classes at different campuses before. Third, VU uses a blended learning model that combines e-learning with face-to-face -face sessions. Using a platform called VU Collaborate, students access materials, submit assignments, utilize learning modules, and many other resources both in and out of class. And finally, VU blocks have only 11 face-to-face -face sessions, three three-hour sessions during week one, two, and three, and two more sessions in the final week four. This means that it's possible for a single academic staff to teach two offerings of a course in any given block. To aid in this transition to the block plan, I worked in connected learning with Kay Cleary's team. Day one, this uh, is Kay. Hello, how are you? Connected learning is an entire department of learning designers and developers with a background in education who work with academics in planning and teaching on the block. There's about seven teams and it's growing that work with different colleges and disciplines and I got to attend a variety of meetings for different units in development. In my short time with Connected Learning, I really had to utilize everything I learned in the MAT program. In my first week, I didn't know how I was going to be able to contribute meaningfully to the cause, but in my final weeks, I drafted up a couple of guides to assist academics um, when initially designing blocks. And this all happened because back in September, I met John Weldon, who happened to be on campus at CC. Hi, I'm John. We're here at VU talking about the first year model. Check it out, Colorado. After taking Manya's class in Block 8, I've really been thinking a lot about social identity theory and who I am in different spaces. Melbourne has a larger Vietnamese population than Denver does. I actually stayed with my family and found that even though I'm an outsider, a foreigner to Aussie culture, I'm still an insider to Vietnamese culture. This was really nice, in all honesty, and I found myself missing my family, of course, but I didn't get homesick, per se. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm making fairy bread. Ooh, touching it with my hands, sorry. No, that's, that's fine, it's very big. Look at all these snacks that Jesse bought. These are twisties. This one's chicken flavored, and then these are cheese flavored. And then these are wagon wheels, and these are ice bobos. And this is Milo. I'm not really sure what Milo is. <laughs> it's a drink. It's a drink. So, on cooking with Jesse, how do you make that fairy bread? <laughs> you use butter and then sprinkles on bread. Ooh, it's very delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's great. Overall, I really enjoyed my time at VU because I gained a lot more experience with curriculum design and I feel like I've spiraled again uh, around topics such as UDL and CRP and I felt like I was really useful to be you in Connected Learning as somebody with experience on the block who can help in designing courses.